Previously on Cat Clips. After Boots discovered a new scratching device, Tuck became obsessed with it until things finally took a turn for the worse. Sounds ominous. Aren't you going in, Trey? No, I finally found a nice comfortable spot to hover for a while. I'll just listen from here. Come on, you guys, get in here. Okay, okay. Hey, honey, does the news from the spirit world have anything to do with Halloween coming up? No, it has to do with the dark forces. Oh, no, I thought we were done with them for now. Apparently not. I knew the dark forces were getting stronger. It's all you ever hear about on the news. What with ISIS, hate crimes on the rise, unspeakable violence. What is this world coming to? I'm old enough to remember when ISIS was the name of a beautiful superhero. So, thanks for ruining that. So what's the news, honey? Whoa, fly alert! Can you please pay attention? Honey has the floor now. Or the couch, actually. Thank you, Tippy. So, while I was at the World Spirit Awards, I attended a forum on spiritual intervention. The dark forces have created so much anger and hatred out there, the ghostly community is worried about the future of the planet. But we can't let hatred win. We have to do something. We have to help the humans before it's too late. Not to put a damper on the situation, but we're only four cats and a ghost. How can we possibly save the world from the dark forces? Oh, no one's asking you to save the world. What an ego he has. But we can certainly do our part to help spread peace and harmony. Right, we could have a sing-off. Will you please take this seriously? Sorry. Hey, what if we had a giant bake sale to raise money to help beat the dark forces? A bake sale, honestly? Just because you have the munchies does not mean the answer to world peace lies in donuts and cupcakes. Too bad, because I could really use a good cronut right now. If only humans were more like cats. How show, Boots? Because then they'd have to learn how to stop and smell the chowder. Ooh, that's gross, Boots. Although I have indulged once or twice myself. It's the best way of finding out what's inside someone. Okay, that's enough of that. No one needs to know that much about me. I think we're getting a little sidetracked here. Uh, the point I was trying to make is that we can get the process rolling by paying it forward. You mean like a savings account? No, more like a checkbook. You give out without getting anything in return. Sounds like the reasoning behind most taxes. So this is how we're supposed to pay it forward? Seems more like a backdoor policy to me. Can we please stop associating your smelling ritual to the pay it forward program? We want to help the world, not stink it up. Honey's right. We need to be more proactive. Isn't proactive for people with acne? What about performing random acts of funny? So if someone's having a sad or boring day, we could surprise them with something crazy. I think what you're really talking about is a random act of kindness, helping someone without them knowing it. I'll give you a random act of kindness. You're really not getting this, are you? It's a proven fact that random acts of kindness improve the human condition by a hundred percent. And it's really easy to be kind. It's anger and hatred that take all the work. Then that's what we 
should do and encourage all our viewers to do the same. And y'all know the perfect person to perform our first act of kindness on. Our owner, Michael. Catlips, 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 Catlips.